Okay, we have here the TCA 500 Telmex steel guitar combo for steel guitar and also jazz guitar. Um, we have in this particular unit a TC Electronics G Major 2 fit. And I'm just going to very quickly run through the controls on the combo. So we got a 24 volt output um, DC plug here. And with a lead, you can plug that into your um, Telomix volume pedal. And that means you don't need any sort of wall wart or anything like that. Um, you've got an input here. Uh, and you've got an input gain. And just there, you've got a little tiny LED that indicates that you're overloading the input. Um, uh, so the way to set this is to, you know, play some big chords and you should occasionally see a little flick there. If you find the red LED starts to come on all the time, you've got too high a level. If it never ever comes on, you might have too low a level. Okay, bass level. The Telomix speaker is very well balanced, I must admit. Although it's a very powerful control, I typically use it around about the, the zero mark. The mid range and mid frequency controls work hand in hand. Um, I find typically around about sort of 600 to 700 um, and I take out roughly around about minus 13. It's this this control really is something you'll want to tweak and mess with and you know it's something that needs to work hand in hand with the general EQ of your guitar and pickups but uh, if you play around with that you can get some nice um, you know steel guitar sounds really using that and you can also by not taking us out as much um, mid-range as you think you need to so what you're effectively doing is boosting the mid-range you can get some nice modern sort of steel guitar sounds um, the, the treble control, again, I, I typically have that set around about zero. Um, for push-pulls, a little bit on the lively side, you might need to just take out a little bit of top end. Um, but again, there's plenty of control there to cover most sort of sounds that you'll actually want. Um, the blend control, this basically tilts the overall EQ. So if you turn it up, it'll raise your highs and drop your lows. If you turn it down, it'll raise your lows and drop your highs. Very handy control to use on, on stage just to sort of basically compensate for your stage or room acoustics. Master level, I'll tend to have that around about five. Um, if you find you're starting to get up to very high levels, you could be deaf or uh, you might find that you've got your input gain um, set a little bit on the low side, so something to check. Um, the effects, um, the one that says brew here, that's the um, T brew effect. Yeah, very good simulation of a do brew effect. Um, yeah. They managed to retain a nice low frequency character in there as well as the sort of typical sort of mid and high um, frequencies that you get out of a dobro. Um, maybe not as good as a real dobro, but certainly good enough to use as an effect in a song. Um, you know, if you just want to punch in a quick little bit of dobro type sound. Um, reverb level, um, that works in conjunction with this button here. Um, the TC a500 has got its own built-in reverb. If you're a jazz guitarist, you might not want the effects processor and you can just use the um, reverb level that you've got on the effects unit. And, you know, so just turn that on, setting that here, setting a little bit of dry wet because that does work in conjunction with this and you'll have a little bit of reverb added. I actually like to add in just a little bit of that with my reverbs, some of them that I use on the uh, effects processor because it can like fatten up just the front end. Um, but sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Um, the dry wet fader, that's the control that you'll grab to control your effect level. If you turn it up this way, you'll have more effect. If you turn it down there, you'll have less effect. I should say that we're running the effects processor in parallel mode. 
Um, what that means is that means that the dry signal or the unaffected signal goes straight through the combo and it's only the effect signal that is returned from the effects processor. I prefer that because I don't like to add latency into my um, dry or unaffected signal. I like the immediateness that you get from the nice analog circuitry within here. Um, but if you wanted to run your effects in series, which a lot of guitarists do, it would just simply be a matter of turning that all the way around to wet and programming the appropriate patch so that the dry signal, if you like, or unaffected signal also pass through the effects processor. But the patches I've set up um, are parallel. Um, we've got the direct out level here that sets the output level to the XLR. Uh, on the back so you can feed in your recording system or your mixing desk. Um, now one of the nice things about it is the master level and the direct level don't affect each other. Um, so once you've set this direct out level and your engineer is happy with your um, level into the main PA, you can actually adjust your master level without affecting his level, which is, I quite like that idea. Um, that's handy, especially when you're recording, um, especially as a band. Um, this control here is the auxiliary input level. Um, you've got a stereo jack on the back that you connect a lead to, and you connect that lead into your iPod so you can run some sound through the, the combo for practicing. You know, it's very useful. And, um, uh, you know, you could also run... Uh, a, a, a guitar um, iPod or something like that into it so you could run guitar and steel through your um, a combo amplifier. In fact that's how I use it myself when I'm gigging if I'm playing guitar as well. Um, you've got a headphone level here because you've got a headphone jack there and one of the nice things about it is any stereo signal that's run into the auxiliary uh, level input remains in stereo when it comes out of the headphones um, and you can set the gain there and a very nice feature is even though the mood control which is right at the end here the mood control is on when the LED shows it moots the direct output it moots obviously the speaker but it doesn't moot the headphones so you can be on stage and you can be warming up playing through your combo, but nothing will come out of the front of house and nothing will come out of this speaker. The curtain goes up like that, put out your headphones and you're ready to play. Now, there is another little thing at the end here, which you've got to kind of watch out for. Again, a very handy feature. It's the power amp um, um, uh, disable. Now, when it's in this mode, as it is in, so the switch is pressed down, onto the zero of the switch, the power amp is turned off. Not only does it turn the power amp off, it also turns the fans off. So the combo is absolutely um, silent. So if we got the moot off, what we could be doing is actually using the direct outs to feed into a recording desk and listen to yourself over the monitor, but the combo is not producing any sound. So that's absolutely silent. When you turn that on, Okay, so I've got a great big level set up there. <laughs> um, the power amp turns on. There's something you have got to watch out for because there isn't any LED indication. That blue LED at the bottom there just tells you that the AC is on. It doesn't tell you that the power amp is on. There's no LED indication. So you've got to watch out. You don't just catch this by accident. Um, and I have done it once or twice myself. I've caught it and want to play something on my guitar I thought ah oh, there's no sound but once you get used to it you get used to making sure it's there and uh, it's not a problem um, you've got here a tuner out the tuner out is directly connected really to your uh, input on the front here um, so uh, uh, if you've got your volume pedal via uh, the send return loop, which there is on the back there, and you've got your guitar plugged directly in here, the tuner output always remains live. 
Um, we've also got the thermal status um, or status, thermal status, I should say. Um, I was just slipping into an American um, accent there. Um, the thermal status um, tells you that um, everything is fine inside the combo um, and you've got like a, a low, medium and a red LED and there's actually is a little tiny sort of monitoring system in there looking at the temperatures of various things and if things start to get a little bit too warm they'll um, turn on the fans or increase the speed of the fans on the back just enough to give you the right amount of cooling um, so that if you're in a low noise environment you know you, you don't create any more noise than what you need to um, we've got one more thing really here and if you have got the TC electronic um, G major 2 fitted this here is the control that um, allows you to change patches and all you do really is just sort of move this round to the patch that you want press the center and then the patch has um, selected at the moment I think I've got around about sort of 20 patches um, set up really as really as just as starting points um, this is a very powerful um, piece of equipment really and, and the reverbs are absolutely superb so that's the um, Telonix TCA 500 steel guitar or jazz guitar combo and uh, I'll just turn it around and uh, just have a quick talk about the back. Um, so that's your G major 2 and that's your your combo back panel. Um, just starting over here we have the auxiliary input that's for your iPod that's a stereo input jack. Um, here we have a pre-EQ um, loop that you might want to put your volume pedal in and out of if you like to use the effects loop on a combo for that. Um, we have a, a power amp in and a preamp out jack here. If you want to link a bunch of these together, you can use those to link them. I should say you will need, like, probably need an isolating box to do that, so you don't have any problems with earth loops. Um, you've got the foot switch here, and in fact that's a stereo jack because the, um, the T-Bro and the Reverb are both switchable. And there are plans perhaps in the future to link this up to the G major 2 which has an output here that could be used to switch those um, so you can control those via the patches if you want to do that. There's another tuner out which is the same as what's on the front there. Um, you've got your effects send and returns and your levels which I think I've explained in, a, in another video how to set those. Um, those come through here and go in and out of the effects processor. Um, you've got your direct output level there um, and you've got a ground lift switch. You've got the cooling fans. Uh, you've got your switched AC output. This is what actually affects, um, sorry, feeds the effects processor um, so that you can, when you switch the combo on, um, the effects processor is, is automatically switched on and also you've just got a single mains lead down the bottom here. Uh, you've got a fuse for that auxiliary. Um, you've got the front panel can be lit and you've got a little switch here to allow you to um, change the brightness or turn it off. Uh, then you've got the main combo on off switch there and there's your IC lead for plugging it into the mains. And uh, that's about it.